What's going on guys? I have here one of the most anticipated pistols of 2024. When this was announced at SHOT Show, everybody just kind of went crazy. And I got mine just a few weeks after it came out and I really wanted to go shoot it, but I waited to do a video for you guys so you could get the initial first shot impressions. I like to do that on camera so I don't have an initial impression and then it changes the more I shoot it. I like to give you my first initial impression. It's like 10 or 12 rounds. Uh, just tell you what I think about it. And I do want to say I dropped this pistol just a minute ago. It was unloaded, but I dropped it. So mine is a little dirty. So the first time you see it, it's got a little dirt on it. It survived a drop test though. Um, and it is the Canic TTI. Uh, it, it actually, yeah, I, I'm hoping I can get these embedded leaves out of this stippling uh, with a toothbrush or something. But I do want to say the stippled grip uh, feels amazing. I like it much better than like the traditional Canic grips like on this Combat Elite. Now this, or Elite Combat, sorry. Uh, the Elite Combat with its magwell don't feel bad, but like the Rival, I'm just not a fan of how the Rival feels. This is the same identical grip as the Rival has, um, but the stippling is better. It feels better in your hand. And uh, I just think this looks better. It's, it's cooler gun. Now I've always said the trigger on my Rival is better. Let's take a look at this trigger because it is awesome. You've got some take up right there. It's that wall. Seen it move just a little bit. My Rival, you don't even see move. It just clicks and it just kind of stays in the same spot. Reset right there. My Rival's reset. You don't even see the little bit of creep you've seen this one. It just resets. So the Rival trigger is still a little bit better than this trigger in my opinion, but this one has a comp and that's cool. So enough talking about this gun. I can't wait to shoot it. So I'm gonna put about 12 rounds through it. I'm gonna tell you my initial impressions of the gun. And then we are going to um, sight it in. I'll probably do that off camera. You probably don't want to just see me sit here and shooting this thing, sighting it in. And uh, then we'll put some more rounds through it, take it out to 44 yards, see what we can do out there. I've been doing pretty good at 44 yards a day. I, everything I've shot, I've hit, you know, 10 out of 10 times. So let's see if the, the Canic, uh TTI Combat can uh, do the same thing. All right, guys, my glasses are fogging up. It's very humid over here. We got 12 rounds in the pistol. So let's just see how it shoots. I can't see nothing. All right, guys, my first initial impression. The comp works a little bit. I've shot other guns with comps that I thought worked better. I gotta be honest with you, I, it's way over there. I can't get it. Um, my staccato cs which is a much more expensive pistol but it's a much smaller pistol it has less weight to it i think um or right around the same weight but it, it feels like it shoots a lot flatter um, i'm not disappointed per se but i thought that comp would drive that muzzle down a little more it's it's better than the rival uh with recoil and i like definitely like how the grip feels better than the rival with recoil, but I think it could be better. And I've heard other people say the same thing that the comp could work a little bit better. Um, I do have a Smith and Wesson M and P performance center, uh, nine millimeter gun that I think performs better with the comps in it other than this does. And I know I'm seem like I'm complaining about this a lot, but I do feel like even with the apex trigger in the Smith and Wesson that this actually has a better trigger. That trigger just makes it amazing. I ain't gonna lie. Um, the gun feels good in the hand. Uh, but without further ado, let me get off here and quit rambling and sight this thing in. And we'll put several more rounds to it and see if I think that comp is actually working better than I thought it did initially. Okay, guys, I put about 15 rounds to it, sighting it in. Made about three adjustments, maybe two, two adjustments. I made two adjustments. I made two adjustments one time up and over and I made one more up um and you can see right here I was shooting fairly quick but that's that's a pretty big ragged hole and they're all right this was when I first initially was over here and now I brought it all in right there that trigger really is amazing um people can say what they want to and say if you got good fundamentals triggers don't matter you can shoot anything you can shoot a rock I don't care it works and it probably does I'm not gonna lie I probably have crappy fundamentals but I will tell you this a trigger like this or a trigger like my CS, 
I don't see how you can't say that don't make a difference because these guns have phenomenal triggers. And like I said before, with like this Canic that I was doing the Sealy Optic review on, it has this big flat trigger. And then of course, this Canic has this huge flat trigger. And then the Rival has the huge flat trigger. Those are the Canics I buy now. I don't buy normal Canic triggers anymore because these will make you be like, why don't you put that in everything? Just up the price of 50 bucks or 75 bucks and just put it in everything. And they are amazing. And, and these are the only ones I buy. Now, the, now Canics can say what they want to and say this trigger's wider. I measured them with, um, I don't think I can get calipers into it. Yeah, I think I did actually do it with calipers. I got a video on here where I measured the trigger and they were the same size. They were identical, the same identical size. There, there was no difference in these triggers sizes in the rival and this and, and that elite combat. But these Canic triggers are some of the best triggers on the market, bar none. I've said my rival has the best trigger of any trigger ever made, and I'll stand by that because it is so good. And this is a very, very close second. Now that is more like a carry gun, and they have tweaked the trigger on it where it has a little more take up. It has like a four and a half pound pull instead of like a two and a half pound pull. But um, I still like the, the big flat trigger on it. Uh, better than I do most other triggers. Uh, this is running a Holosun 407 CX2 um, and not the 507. The only difference is, is it still has the solar, but it only has a dot and not a circle dot. I knew this wasn't a gun I was going to carry. I do prefer the circle dot on guns I carry, but for this thing um, that I'm just going to get out and play with and shoot around with and take out every once in a while, I didn't care that it just had the dot. But like I said, if it was going to be something that I actually um, carried, I would put the 507C on it. That's my recommendation for Hollison sights. Um, there are a few other Hollison sights I really like, but if you're looking for something around a budget, uh, you can't really go wrong with this. That Sealy Optic did really well as well, um, but this gun's pretty awesome. So let's put some more rounds through it. Let me load up some magazines. I'll be right back. All right, guys, the gun does come with an 18 round magazine and I believe this is a 22 round magazine. I can't remember. I've got 22 rounds in it now. It does rattle with 22. If I take and knock down 21, it doesn't rattle. Um, but with 22, it is a little tight, but it went. You can hear it rattle. Let's see if it rattles if I put it in the gun. Nope, no rattling in the gun. Unlike Glock magazines, which rattle like a can of marbles. Um, this only rattles when it's not in the pistol. Um, I do want to check these magazines and make sure that if I fully load the magazine, I load one in the gun and then top the magazine off that it still functions. I always like to check that because there's quite a bit of pressure on the bottom of the slide running uh, when you fully um, load a magazine. So I always like to check and make sure that functions like that uh, before I even think about it. I'm at, this ain't something I'd probably use for home defense. I mean, you could. Um, I probably wouldn't have other things that I prefer to use for home defense, um, such as uh, this nice Staccato P right here. Uh, but you could definitely use that for home defense, but you would definitely want to check it like this to make sure um, that it would run. So let's uh, put the 22 rounder in there, load it up, put another round in here. Let's see how she functions. All right, guys, we got it loaded up. I will say uh, it is a little snug, not as snug as the CS magazines were when they were new, uh, but it was a little snug and you could really tell that there was a lot of pressure on the bottom of that magazine. Again, that may have been a 21 round magazine, but I can get 22 in mine. So I just want to see if it functions with the uh, 22 round. No, no, it did not. It did not. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm assuming these are probably 21 round magazines. That and actually, I want to show you this. It skimped that shell pretty good. So uh, they're probably they're probably 21 round magazines, but you can get 22 in it, no lies. Uh, 22 will fit, but it will not function. You can see 21 right there, just fine. All right, guys, my bad. 22 didn't work. Just because it'll fit don't mean you should put it there because it, it might not work. 
I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Don't, don't put, don't do that. All right, guys, got the flush fit. Don't want to check it as well. You want to check all your magazines, make sure they function properly. Got it fully loaded with an extra one. Guys, I want to show you something. You got to see this. So I was shooting pretty fast right there. And this gun shoots really well. And I look, look at this hole. Look, let's look at this big old hole. I mean, there's a few down here. These right here were down there before I flew one here. These four are new. Everything else is right there. I, 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 think, I think we're going to take it out to 44 yards. But looking at that little, I don't know, six inch shoot and see, I, I don't think that we're going to have a problem hitting that little bit smaller than man size target at 44 yards. So, uh, but anyway, we're going to load up and see. Who, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. All right, guys, like normal, we're back here. You can tell where we're at. It's in every video, just about 44 yards um, to the plate down there. I do like to do this. I, I don't know why I like to do this. A lot of people say, why are you shooting at 44 yards? I don't I just like to see if I can do it. I, I don't claim to be the best shot. And, it makes me feel good knowing I can hit something at almost 50 yards. If I could get 100 yards without crossing that road, I'd be trying this at 100 yards. Let's face it. I just want to know if I can do it. But it gives you all a sense of how accurate the gun is because I'm not that accurate. But anyway, we're going to do this. Let me throw my eyes and ears. We'll step over here, see what happens. All right, guys. 44 yards, 10 shots, Canic TTI Combat. I think this is going to be pretty easy. Find out. All right, guys, you heard that right. It was nine out of 10. I got cocky. I started shooting a little fast. Once I missed that one, got a little humbled, slowed down, hit the rest of them. That's on me, definitely not this pistol. We could do that again. I say, I say we do it again. I, I don't like that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, take two. Uh, this gun will make you cocky. That's what it did to me. I got a little overconfident there. Went above be all my abilities. Again, guys, this gun will make you a little cocky. May, I'm probably not the worst shot in the world, but I'm definitely not 22 plinkster, let's face it. I'm not shooting aspirins out of the air. But I, I knew I could hit that at 44 yards 10 out of 10 times. I got a little carried away, and I, I think I flew one a little high left uh, when the one I missed uh, there a minute ago. But um, we redeemed ourselves in the next one. Made myself slow down a little bit. And when I slowed down, um, definitely 10 out of 10, and they were all hitting dead center on that steel. This trigger, I feel like can actually make you a better shooter. I mean, I, like I said before, people say it's, it's, you know, your fundamentals, and you do have to have fundamentals in shooting to actually hit stuff at distance like this a little bit. But triggers also help. If you get a trigger that's two and a half pounds, don't carry it. I, wouldn't, I don't recommend carrying it. Uh, but like a competition gun, kind of like this is probably set up for, um, they can actually make you more accurate, in my opinion. Uh, you, you have to be somewhat accurate to begin with. You just can't be teacuping it and think you're going to be great. But um, it's, 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 it just makes you a better shooter. And uh, I will say, you do get some carbon on top of this. You can see right there, there is carbon buildup on that. That is to be expected. There is carbon buildup on the front. And uh, this gun gets a little warm with, the, with those gases coming out. Uh, so if you are carrying this appendix, make sure you let that cool off or you'll have a nice, uh, tear and tactical, uh, like burn on your wink. But anyway, that's just, you know, good advice, fatherly advice. Don't, don't do that. But anyway, uh, this gun, uh, is amazing. So let me take you back up here. We'll finish this video out. Okay, guys. Now, final thoughts on this. We, we only put probably about a hundred rounds ish through this on and off camera and stuff like that. What this isn't a pistol. 
that I'm gonna put thousands upon thousands of rounds through probably. I do like shooting it, it is fun to shoot, but being a YouTuber and not having an ammo sponsor, I have to kinda justify what I'm doing with my ammo because I pay for it out of pocket. So guns like this that I'm not gonna carry or I know you're probably not going to carry. Somewhere out there, there's somebody going, I carry this thing every day. And I, I get it. Somebody's doing it. All right, I get it. I'm not saying somebody won't carry this. But most of the people are not going to carry this. They're going to carry something more like this, like a P365X or something like that. Um, and I like to focus a lot of my ammo on guns like that because I'm a big advocate of like Pro 2A uh, and, I, and I think you should carry a pistol whenever you can because the world's getting crazy. You never know what you're going to run into and what you're going to need to do. Big pistols like this are definitely easier to shoot than smaller pistols like that SIG. Um, but they're harder to conceal too. So in my opinion, I like to focus a lot of effort on stuff that's going to be like EDC'd or home defense. And, and someone may use this as home defense too. Um, I'm not going to use this gun as home defense. This gun is a plinking gun to me. If I ever shot competition, um, I might take this. I used to shoot competition years ago, um, but this is something that I would highly consider shooting competition with because it is very flat. Um, the trigger is amazing. The stippling is perfect on this gun, in my opinion. It is very pointable and it's very easy to shoot. So... This is something I would highly, highly recommend looking at if what category of competition you're shooting in allows this kind of pistol. If not, it's still a fun gun to shoot. Maybe you should buy one. Is it worth the extra money over the rival? And I'll probably do a video about this sometime in the future, this versus the rival and actually shoot them side by side because I think a lot of people would like to see that. Uh, from the previous videos I've done of this gun and the rival talking about the triggers and stuff like that. I think people would be interested in that video. Um, I really like the stippling on this gun. It does shoot a little flatter, and I'm not sure you notice the trigger as much when you're shooting it versus just testing them side by side. In my opinion, this gun probably is worth the money. It just feels better in the hand. Like I said, it is a little bit flatter shooting. You do retain a rear sight. That makes it way worth the money to me. I hate that my, my rival does not retain the rear sight. So having a rear sight on this pistol definitely makes it worth the extra money to me. But with all the extra stuff you get, and the only thing you're losing is a little bit of a better trigger on the rival. And everybody's rival may not be as good as mine. I've heard other people say that their TTI has a better trigger than the rival. Maybe I just looked up and got the best rival ever made because my trigger is the best trigger I've ever fired in my life. That's on my, even over my 2011s, I think that trigger is better. Um, so maybe I just got lucky. Um, but if I was gonna buy this or I was gonna buy the rival, um, I, I would buy this. There's, there's a lot of pros to this and a very minor, minor con. And I think that con isn't worth buying this versus the rival. Now, my other videos, I might've thought a little bit differently, but after shooting this gun, um, I think it's worth the money. I, I do. Um, I don't know how much Terran Tactical had in, or Terran Butler had in, in producing this gun. I, I'm sure he probably had some of the design and stuff like that but I don't know how much anything else he had to do with it. But if Canik 100% did everything to this theirself and Taren just let them put his little TT logo on the side, um, it's still worth the money to me. Uh, I don't know how long they'll make this gun. It wasn't a limited production gun or anything like that. Uh, mine's a pretty low serial number because I got it pretty early. Uh, but in my opinion, if, if I'm looking at this or I'm looking at the rival, I like the color scheme of this better. I like the stippling better. I like the rear sight better. I like that it has a comp, even though I feel like other comps may work a little better. Um, it does help. And I, and I just like the aesthetics of this gun better than the rival. So for me, my money would have went towards this even for like 300 more dollars. Now, if you're on a budget 
and the $300 is a deal breaker, um, go with the rival. You can't go wrong with that either. But if you have the extra, extra dough to spend on the Canik, you will not be sad that you went with this one. Again, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Subscribing's free, and it really does help the channel. We'll see you next time.